Hi, this is Deborah Burt Maldonado, and I wanted to talk today about making bold decisions. And this is a process, whether you are looking to invest in a program or making a big change in your life, uh, the, there's two ways we make decisions. The default way is through our ego. And actually, neuroscience has confirmed that our brain actually makes the decision up to eight seconds before we're even conscious of it, because we're so conditioned as human beings to just make a decision from our default. So it takes a lot of effort and conscious awareness to actually shift our life because we're so much on autopilot. And so when we're about to make a decision, whether it's a financial investment in a program or going online to meet the love of your life or taking a new job or asking your boss for a raise, you're most likely going to make the decision if you're not conscious of it from the ego. And the ego has two excuses it uses to make that decision. And the two excuses are money and time. And those are very rational decisions like, well, I look at my bank account. I don't have the money. Oh, I, I look at my schedule. I don't have the time. And the ego just loves those two excuses because it makes, you know, it makes sense. You can, you can believe it. But when you make that decision, you're making a decision based on what you have now versus what's possible. Your ego's always looking at the past and making a decision just like your brain from the past. And the story that your mind tells you is actually a cognitive reinforcement of your assumptions of what's possible. So when you make a decision, uh, your ego will say, well, give you all the stories that will keep you in the status quo. And, um, and if you listen to yourself when you're making a decision and you're listening to that mind, you're going to see that it is uh, stories and they're all based on the past and they're all based on actually what can go wrong. How can I be safe and secure? versus what is possible. Now, when we make a decision from our higher self, our true self, which is beyond that thinking mind, beyond the ego mind, beyond our conditioning, there's something, another force inside of us. Some people call it the soul. Some people call it the true self, the real self, the higher self. And that part of you is that part of you that keeps pushing you to grow, that part of you that doesn't uh, want you to settle, that feels that that uh, ache for a more life. And, uh, and so you're battling inside when you make a decision, when you have that tug inside, is this part of you wants you to move forward, but the other part of you is like, no, it's too scary. I can't do it. And, and your mind will feed you and feed you all the excuses and it'll make logical sense and you'll believe the story and then nothing changes. When you take bold action and a bold decision, it feels really scary to the ego. It does not, it's not an easy decision. It's not, oh yeah, that's great. I'm going to do it. You're going to feel the tension. But when you make that bold decision, what you're really doing is you're stretching yourself. You are stretching outside of your comfort zone. So it doesn't matter what that decision is, as long as you're making that bold decision, because you will be in another place. You will not be... Uh, acting out of conditioning. So there's multiple possibilities that will happen when you step into that bold decision. So think about this today. Think about a decision you're about to make and ask yourself, am I making it from fear and limitation and from what I know now? Or am I making the decision from possibility, from power, from my dreams, from what if I can have what I really want? And I promise you, if you follow that possibility, if you follow that feeling of, I can do this, I don't know how, but I'm going to do it. There's something really magical about that. And Goethe says, boldness has magic in it. Boldness has magic in it. So if you want a little more magic in your life, bring in that boldness, make a bold decision, and you can never go wrong. You will always find a new way and it'll stretch you so much farther than you can imagine. And all, all the time, the things you worried about so much before you made that decision never, ever show up. You, you, you end up saying, wow, I was so worried for nothing. And um, I remember making this decision, leaving the corporate world and doing this type of work. It was a completely different career. Um, it was scary. It was bold. I mean, most people looked at me and said, what the heck is she doing? Um, 
it, it just for the ordinary person, it doesn't make logical sense. But for an extraordinary person like you and like me, we can live a bigger, more fuller life. And you know who else this helps when you do that? It helps if you have kids, it, it helps your children. It helps your friends. It helps your spouse or partner. It helps people you interact with that you step into your greatness. And guess what? It invites them to do that as well. So you're not only doing it for yourself. So today, my invitation for you is to be bold, take a risk, uh, make a decision from your heart, from your soul, not from your ego, and it'll never let you down. Take care.